Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the monotonic array problem. An array is monotonic if it is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. An array A is monotone increasing if, for all i less than or equal to j, a sub i is less than or equal to a sub j. An array A is monotone decreasing if, for all i less than or equal to j, a sub i is greater than or equal to a sub j. Return true if and only if the given array A is monotonic. So what does that mean? It means that, for example here, this is true. Why? Because this is an array that is monotonic. This is monotonic increasing or monotone increasing. You can see that for any element in the array, the element after that element is bigger than or equal to that element. So this is true. And this one is monotone decreasing because for any element, the element after that element is less than or equal to that element. For example, 5 is less than 6, 4 is less than 5, and 4 is, is equal to 4. So this is monotonic, this is monotone decreasing. So the method returns true. In this case, this is not a monotonic array, so the method returns false. So how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. One way is to do two passes. One pass to find if the array is monotonic, is monotone increasing, and the other pass to find if the array is monotone decreasing. But we can do better than that. We can actually make sure that the array is monotonic in only one pass. We only need one pass to check. So we can have two variables two boolean variables, one to check if it is mono monotone increasing and the other one to check if it is monotone decreasing. And then as we go from left to right, we check the element at position i with the element at position i plus one. And if at any point the array is not monotone increasing, we change the variable to false for monotone increasing. And as we go, if at any point uh, this condition is false, the array is now monotone decreasing, then we also set a variable to false. And at the end, we check if, it, if the array is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing. The time complexity is big O of n, and the space complexity is big O of 1. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have two, two Boolean variables. So Boolean increasing initialized to true and decreasing initialize to true. So initially I'm making the assumption that the array is monotonic. So I'm going to have a for loop for integer i test of value of 0, i is less than a dot length minus 1. And I have to do minus 1 because in every iteration I'm going to be checking the element of position i with the element of position i plus 1. So I don't want to go out of bounds. So that's why I always check that the condition is that i is less than a dot length minus 1. Every iteration increment i by 1. So as I said, I want to check if this condition is false at any moment, at any iteration. So I'm going to say if a sub i is greater than a sub i plus 1, then I can say that this array is not monotone increasing. So I can say increasing gets a value of false. By the same token, I check if the array is monotone decreasing. If the condition is false, then I know that the array is not monotone decreasing. So if the element of position i is less than the element of position i plus 1, I know that the array is not monotone decreasing because this element is actually less than the next element. So I can set the variable to false. Decreasing gets a value of false. Then at the end of the iteration, I check. Return increasing or decreasing. So if the array is either increasing or decreasing, if either condition is true, then return true. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. 
All right, this is working perfectly. The time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the array A. The space complexity is big O of 1, constant space, because we're only using a few variables. 2 milliseconds faster than 82.55% of Java submissions. So if you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.